Hello guys, my name is MK from MK Smart Farm. In this video, I'm going to teach you on how and when to vaccinate your chicks against Gambaro. If you're new here, consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, comment and share our video. Without wasting much time, let's do this. Gamboro is a viral disease caused by a virus known as infectious bussel disease virus. Uh, it's a highly infectious virus of poultry. It affects the young chicken, also affects the turkeys, affects the, the ducks. The virus is excreted from infected birds for 10 to 14 days and is highly infectious. This virus can also be found in wild birds, also can be transmitted uh, by the vermines and also human beings. In broilers, uh, Gumboro uh, mostly attack uh, the broiler birds around the age of three to four weeks. So these are some of the signs and symptoms of Gumboro. Uh, these are the signs that you can be able to uh, to identify in your farm. So when you are when you are giving uh, your chicks or your, uh, your your birds food or water, make sure that you also do some keen uh, scouting if you can see these signs. Uh, the first sign that you can be able to see is watery diarrhea. So if you see some evidence of watery diarrhea, also you can see soiled vent. Also the infected birds may be depressed. You see some birds are depressed. Also you can see the affected birds or rather infected birds have ruffled feathers and they often close their eyes. So when you are careful observing this, you, are be, you can be able to detect if your birds are affected by uh, Gumboro. Uh, the mortality rate when your birds are affected by Gumboro is not good. This disease can wipe up, up to 50% of your birds. And, uh, it, and from the third day to the fifth day after the infe infection, this is where the peak of mortality is high. So, uh, after identifying that your birds maybe are not or are not say, showing the signs of Gumboro, what are you supposed to do? It's just simple. We do. You can control or you can prevent this. It's just by vaccinating your chicks against Gumboro. And because today my chicks are. Uh, are three week old I'm going to show I'm going to demonstrate to you how I'm giving my chicks the Gumboro vaccine guys it's another fine day that I'm going to vaccinate my chicks against Gumboro uh, my chicks have attained they are, they are now 21 days old and I'm going to vaccinate, I'm going to give them their second vaccine against infectious bussel disease virus. Remember in our first video when we were vaccinating our chicks against Newcastle, we say that there are some things that we have to do first. The first thing is to remove all the drinkers. As you see, these bricks, this is where I put the drinkers. There is no drinker. Uh, there is no drinker. I've removed the drinker. So you should remove at least one hour earlier before giving the vaccine. So it's to make the chicks thirsty, but you continue supplying them with feeds. As you see, my feeder, the feeders are with feeds and the chicks are still continue eating. This is to make them thirsty. Another thing that we say, we should never vac give vaccine any sick birds or any weak birds so the next thing i'm going to do is to scare away my chicks that i may find if there is any bird that is sick or 
is weak so let's do this help me to identify I have found four, unfortunately, four of my birds are not doing okay. They have shown signs of weakness. So I will not give them the vaccine. I will isolate them for some time, give them medication until they recover, then I will give them vaccine. After identifying the weak and sick birds, and also after isolating them, make sure that your drinkers are clean and are ready. Make sure that you have your clean water there, and also you have the vaccine. This is the vaccine. This is how they packed it. Uh, you can see this is the vaccine, infectious bustle disease vaccine. So your, the vaccine should be carried using the cooler box and if you, are, you don't have the cooler box you can ask uh, the, the, where you have purchased your vaccine that they may wrap it with ice because it has to be transported under low temperatures. So another thing you should uh, open your vaccine or you should mix the vaccine with the water using a syringe so you should open it under the water so after mixing the vaccine with water I put them into the drinkers and make sure that you close the drinker well and avoid any spillage so after doing this let's give the birds the vaccine let us see how they will react towards the vaccine because I know they are very very thirsty so because the vaccine is oral that's why we mix with water and that's why that is the reason why I made the birds thirsty at the first time so when I bring in the, the vaccine which is mixed with water they will quickly come to take a sip so I just want uh, just bad, the birds to take just a, a sip and it will be enough for them let's see you see the birds are rushing towards the drinker they are so thirsty this, this is what I wanted. So the reason why I made them dust here as the beginning, so that when I put the vaccine, they will quickly come to take a sip. Remember this vaccine, it will, it will be viable only for two hours. You see, you see, the birds are running. Look, every drinker, every, they, are, they are everywhere. Every drinker, they are running to the drinkers. You can see, you can see. You can see, you can see, and ensure that you are uh, around your, your, your birds. So the birds which are still lying down, you can uh, scare, scare them away so that they can go where there is water. Thank you for watching till the end. I believe that this video has been of help to you and to your farm. Uh, watch out to our next video and also watch our previous uh, videos. If you are not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Mm -hmm.